Hi there, you found us here. It's story time with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Have you ever made a mistake, but didn't think it was your fault? Once or twice, maybe? <laughs> well, Noodle says he is always getting caught making mistakes that are not his fault. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if you think Noodle is right. But it's not my fault, written by Julia Cook. My name is Norman David Edwards, but everybody calls me Noodle. Sometimes things happen to me that get me into trouble, but it's not my fault. Things just aren't the way they should be. I feel like everybody's always picking on me. I always get blamed and it's not my fault. Seems like I'm the only one that ever gets caught. He did it again. Quit it. Noodle did it. Teacher. Yesterday, I didn't get my math homework done. So this morning, my teacher made me stay in from recess and do it. Rats. But it wasn't my fault. Last night, I had to go to my big brother's basketball game and it went into overtime. And by the time I finally got home, it was too late to do my homework, so my mom made me go to bed. After recess, we all headed to the library to work on our science reports. Since my teacher wouldn't let me go to recess, I had lots of extra energy. I felt kind of twitchy. On the way down the hall, I jumped up high and tried to touch the light. On the way down, Marigold got in my airspace and her head hit my arm. Ouch! Teacher Noodle hit me. But it's not my fault. You didn't let me go out to recess and my legs just needed to jump. It wasn't my fault. My arm did it. And it was just a little bump. I got sent to the end of the line. Rats. Then when I got to the library, I couldn't work on my report on the duck-billed platypus because the media specialist wouldn't let me check out the book that I needed. Noodle, you can't check out a new book until you bring your overdue book back. But it's not my fault. I looked in my backpack this morning as soon as I got to school. My mom didn't remind me to put it in there. So please, can you bend the rules? Nope. Rats. In P.E., Ross Gray tripped me on purpose and then he laughed at me when I fell down. So I pushed him over. Teacher Noodle pushed me, but it's not my fault. Rose Gray tripped me on purpose and that made me really feel bad and then he laughed when I fell, which made me really mad. Noodle did it. He did it again. My hands were so mad that I pushed him, even though my brain told them not to. Things just aren't the way they should be. I feel like everybody's always picking on me. I always get blamed and it's not my fault. Seems like I'm the only one that ever gets caught. Noodle, please stop talking. But it's not my fault. Georgie talked to me first. Noodle, please stop lollygagging. But it's not my fault. I was born this way. Besides, the pencil sharpener needed to be emptied. 
Noodle, you just interrupted again. But it's not my fault. My mouth is addicted to talking. Noodle, we don't stick our tongue out at other kids. But it's not my fault. TJ did it to me first and then he stared at me, so I had to do it back to him. Besides, it doesn't say we can't do that in the school handbook. Just as my teacher was about to say noodle for the 50,000th time, the bell rang. Whew. Noodle, my teacher said, please stay after for a minute so we can have a talk. Rats. Noodle, today you had a really rough day. But it's not my fault. Noodle, there are no buts in my sentence. Today you had a really rough day, and tomorrow is a brand new day. I can't wait to see what you can do with your tomorrow. Have a safe walk home. When I got into my house, my mom gave me the unibrow. I could tell just by the way she looked at me that I was in trouble. Rats! Noodle! Your teacher emailed me and told me that today at school you had a really rough day. But it's not my fault. I didn't get my homework done because the game went late and you made me go to bed. My teacher wouldn't let me go out to recess and my legs needed to jump. Marigold got in my airspace and her head hit my arm. I couldn't do my report on the duck-billed platypus because the media specialist wouldn't let me check out the book I needed because you forgot to remind me to put my overdue book in my backpack this morning. Ross Gray tripped me and laughed when I fell down and that made my hands mad. Georgie talked to me first. The pencil sharpener needed to be emptied. My mouth is addicted to talking. And it doesn't say in the school handbook that I can't stick my tongue out at people. Besides, I had to. TJ was staring at me, and he did it to me first. Things just aren't the way they should be. I feel like everybody's always picking on me. I always get blamed, and it's not my fault. Seems like I'm the only one that ever gets caught. Poor me. Noodle, I'm not talking about whose fault it is, Mom said. I'm talking about whose responsibility it is. Huh? You are responsible for the things that you do, for your choices at home and your choices at school. Blaming others is a reason, but it's not an excuse. If you keep playing this game, you surely will lose. You are in charge of letting me know when you have homework. You are in charge of returning your library books. And you are in charge of your legs, your arms, your hands, your voice, and your tongue. Today you made a few mistakes and it caused your day to be rough. But don't blame others for your poor choices because that will make your life tough. Instead, focus on what needs to be done. Whenever you make a mistake, own up and become more responsible for the choices that you've made. Noodle, everybody makes mistakes and mistakes can be a good thing because every time you make one, it gives you a chance to learn something, Mom said. If you blame other people for your mistakes, you give away your chances to learn. Don't make an excuse when you do something wrong. Just own it and say, yep, I did that. Now what can I do to improve my situation? Noodle, I love you with all of my heart, 
and I wish I could solve all of your problems for you, but I can't. My job is to teach you to become your own problem solver. The next time you make a mistake on the inside, think, yep, that was me. It's going to be hard, but like everyone says, the good stuff in life is not free. If you're brave enough to own your mistakes, imagine how great you'll become. You'll learn a lot. You'll make better choices and your life will be so much more fun. Don't be a blamer. You're better than that. Use your mistakes to help you grow. Get rid of the phrase, but it's not my fault and show the world how much you know. Maybe my mom was right. Maybe I was blaming others for my mistakes. Yep, I guess I did make a few wrong choices today. As soon as I got to school the next day, I went to the library, turned in my overdue book, and checked out the book I needed for my report on the duck-billed platypus. When I walked into my classroom, my teacher put her arm around me and whispered, Noodle, yesterday you had a really rough day, and today is a brand new day. I can't wait to see what you can do with your today. Then she said, Class, it's time for me to collect the rough drafts of your science papers. When she got to my desk, I said, I don't have mine, but it's, but it's, but it's gonna be done by tomorrow morning. I just checked out the book that I needed. Way to go, Noodle, you did it. You took responsibility for your actions. I am so proud of how brave you are. As a reward, I'm going to give you an extra day to get your rough draft done. When you hand it in tomorrow, it won't be counted late. But my brother has another basketball game tonight and I guess I won't be going. Rats. Bear's wondering, do you think Noodle is trying to be responsible? Lots of yeses, Bear. Do you think Noodle learned something from all of his mistakes? Yes. Bear wonders if you think we should blame others or try to learn something from our mistakes. What do you think? Well, Bear also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in turning mistakes into better choices. Bye for now. Please subscribe.